Okay, what I have here is I have the two components of a vector, and I want to find out what the original vector is. So I take my two components. The first one is in the x direction is negative 5, so I take my axis and I draw that, and I label it as negative 5 in the x direction. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, y direction component that's here. So at the end of this arrow, I put that here, and there's my positive 8. So these are the two components. They go this way, start to finish. So my actual vector must go start to finish. So I join them up like this. There's the original vector that those two components come from. So this is start to finish. This is my original vector. Now I want to calculate it. The way I calculate it is it's a right angle triangle. So I can use Pythagoras. So the force is equal to 8 squared plus negative 5 squared, take the square root, and the answer is 9.4. I now have the magnitude of the vector, and what I want to do now is find the angle. So this is the angle I'm going to look for right here. It's going to be west so many degrees north, and I need to get that angle. So I'm going to use the inverse tan because I have the opposite and the adjacent. So the angle is going to be the inverse tan of opposite, 8, divided by 5. I don't have to worry about the negative. I'm just using this as a right angle triangle. This side is 8 units long. This one is 5 units long. So I get the angle, and the angle is equal to 58 degrees. So putting it all together, my magnitude is 9.4. i got to check the units. My units were newtons, so this is going to be 9.4 newtons. And there's my angle, and we said it was west, 58 north. So west, 58 degrees north. There's the original vector that these components were made from.